Hey y'all, it's Tasha with Pine Knot Family Farm. And this morning I got up, I took the boys to school, come back, done a little bit of office work. Then I went to spin class cause I am trying to get back with it and get a little bit healthier. Um, I had went and then I quit for the summer while the boys were out. So starting to get that routine back. And then the boys wanted me to go eat lunch with them today at school. So I had about 45 minutes in between spin class and going to eat lunch with the boys. So I looked at our local grocery store ad um, and I went and bought a few things. I took my cold bag with me and um, that's how I spent my time. So I just wanted to share with y'all what I have got, why I got it and um, kind of how it was on sale. Now we're starting to try to do a budget. Um, this stuff here, it was $80. So I buy and I stock up. So I don't necessarily spend, if I spend hundred dollars a week, I don't necessarily just get what we need for that week. I may stock up like these Oreos here. We won't buy Oreos again for a long, long time. Um, but they were on a sale price that you can't hardly beat and you don't find very often. So that's how I grocery shop, kind of in bulk when stuff's on sale, let it sit on the pantry and um, just pick up a few things that we need throughout the week, like milk and bread. So the first thing I spent $80, the first thing I was gonna show you was I got three packs of this bacon. These are 40 ounce packs of Smithfield bacon. Normally we do the rights bacon, but it hasn't been on sale in quite a while. And we still have a couple in the freezer, but, um, we especially needed these. I'm gonna to try to stock the freezer up because when it comes this winter and duck season, we cook a lot of breakfast at the cabin and um, we'll need this stuff. So instead of going and paying 14 or $15 for this, I got it for 7.98 right now. Um, the only thing that I bought, and it was on sale, but wasn't that good of a price, was um, some certified Angus boneless chuck roast and it was 3.98 a pound. So this was $9.39. We'll have this roast one night this week. It'll be quick and then we'll have leftovers left over. Um, we do usually get some roast out of our cows, but of course it doesn't have many with it and we are out. Um, next thing is the Kraft cheese. They had buy five. It was $1.49 when you buy five. Normally I will shred it myself, but I did buy three packs of the cheese. Um, Cause it's convenient. Let's just face it, it's convenient. So these could go in the freezer for a later use. Next thing, and this is kind of like a stock up item, um, prepper item if you kind of want to call it. We go through it and use it, but I like for it to sit on the shelf. Tony, Tony's Creole seasoning, um, three for five. So $1.67 a piece on those. And like I said, we go through this stuff. We will not go through all this. Um, It'll take a while, but this will sit on the pantry. So one of the things that prepper mode is you're going to need something to season and flavor your food. Um, if something was to happen and you've got rice and noodles, um, different things like that, it's all going to be bland if you don't have any seasoning. So seasoning is one of the great things to have on your shelf. Um, speaking of kind of shelf pantry prepper items, I got manwich. Now we do not eat manwich. Um, on a weekly or I don't even think I've ever opened a can of manwich actually. Um, I ate it when I was younger, when I was little, but as far as on a supper night, and if you do, that's great and fine. That's just not one of our things that is on our regular menu. But these were a dollar a piece and then they had a digital coupon for a dollar off two. So 50 cents and these don't expire until September 2020 and we all know that they'll last longer than that. So I thought this was a great thing to have on our basically prepper shelf. Next is the Oreos and they were on the buy five too. You can mix and match the buy five. I could have mixed and matched the cheese Oreos and different things. Um, but these Oreos will go into a half gallon mason jar and I'll show you all that in a minute. Um, if you've watched my videos in the past, I like to use my vacuum sealer and store the stuff in the jars. I'll give you an example of this past weekend when we went to the lake, the boys had been begging for cookies and cream, vanilla ice cream, homemade vanilla ice cream with crushed up Oreos in it basically. And uh, before we went to the lake, I was going to look on my pantry shelf and I had one half gallon mason jar of these left. And I thought, well, that's great because normally these are like $3.99 at the store if you don't catch them on sale. 
So these were a dollar ninety nine. So that saves roughly two dollars. Well, vacuum seal these. The other ones I had had been on the pantry shelf for over a year, and Levi said they tasted absolutely fresh. So that works out great. So that was one of those kind of splurges, but we won't buy them again for a year or at least six months because we don't go through Oreos that often. I bake with them occasionally or the ice cream every once in a while. And next is the Charmin and this is the 12 giant rows, which supposedly equals 31 regular rows. Um, I had got five of these. I only carried one in the house because we actually needed one in. The rest of them will go out to my um, extra storage room. So I didn't bother to carry those in, but I figured it up. I usually buy the Sam's member Mark brand and I figured it up per row. I done the math before I went to the store and it's 45 cents a row regular price at Sam's. And these ended up being 33 cents a row. They were heavily three, $3.99. So that's 12 cents a row cheaper. Um, Cause normally, like I said, we just buy the members Mark brand. So that was a good deal on that. So the next thing that I was gonna show you was how I store the Oreos. This is a half gallon mason jar. You just drop the cookies down in there. Next thing we're gonna do is just make sure our, our rim is clean. There's no little crumbs on there. And you can reuse these, of course, over and over for this because you're not processing them, processing them or anything like that. We're gonna put our food saver on there. Okay, and that is completely sealed. I'm going to actually open it. I don't know if y'all heard that seal or not. So I'm just showing y'all that so y'all can see that it does seal. All right, so these Oreos and about three or four more half gallons will go on my pantry shelf. These will stay good and fresh for at least a year, if not over a year. Um, so yeah, that's just one more way to save money when things are on sale. Uh, let me know if y'all are interested in the things that I buy at the grocery store, how I do it when they're on sale, stocking up, because I usually check our ads every week. Now there's some weeks there's nothing good on sale and I don't go. And there's sometimes I don't have to go to the grocery store um, for a couple weeks at a time, but I do go to Sam's and Kroger and the other local stores that we have here. There's just a couple, but if y'all are interested in seeing how I shop and stock my pantry shelves, let me know in the comments below and I'll start doing some more videos like this every time I go to the store. So I hope y'all have enjoyed. Y'all have a great one. Until next time, God bless.